This is North Ants 96. It's just gone eight time, Michelle Cross. People with savings of up to 50... Initially, the training for news editor school was needed because we had a real deficit in the amount of qualified managers that were coming up internally in the business. Journalists could see the jobs they wanted but didn't have the skills or the qualifications to get them. There isn't another news editor school style programme anywhere, so you can come out with a great journalistic degree, but you can't come out with a journalistic management degree, and that's what we wanted, the equivalent of trained within the business. It's a 10-month course. Um, you work and you do the course at the same time. It's like one once a month you head down to London or to Bristol, uh, our big sites there. And we spend time on practical exercises and talking about theoretical ways of coaching and mentoring staff. And we do all the basics like legal training, budgets and managing effective radio stations. And then they take that back to the business that they work in and in the radio station that they're actually operating in, they start to put those ideas and theories into practice. The best bit of the training for me was meeting other people, like-minded people like myself, that wanted to work their way up in the industry. And, you know, you just get a chance to meet, you just become like a group of, you know, friends, really, meeting up once a month and just bouncing ideas off each other. Heavy rain this afternoon, high at 13 today. What's in it for the business is ready-trained managers who can hit the ground running when they get the job. Previously, we had either great managers with not the right journalistic skills to train and coach our staff in the way that we wanted them, or the absolute opposite of that. We had a great journalist, but they didn't have the management skills to coach and mentor their staff. What we get now is a combination of the two, ready to go on day one. The difference is made for me personally is that I actually started off doing work experience in the industry and that's how I got my big break in. Um, and the people that I admire the most in the industry are those that gave me that opportunity. So for me, the most important thing means that I can now put that back in and, and do the same for others. It's a step up from those written warnings the Department of Health hopes it'll What's make. What's in it for them at the end of the day is a great job as a news editor in one of our 40 or 50 radio stations. And we've got a really good success rate that backs that up. We've now got, in the two years of running the course, 18 people in news editor positions as a result of that, and that's out of 30 people who actually took the course initially. I've now become a news editor myself, and I'm about to start my new job as the news editor of Ram FM in Derby.